Sega. Hello and welcome to the first Total War Attila unit spotlight. In this spotlight, we're taking a look at some of the new units available in the Longbeard's Culture Pack. The Longbeard's Culture Pack introduces the Langobards, Alamans, and Burgundians. These three formidable and warlike Germanic kingdoms stand poised to sweep forth in expansionist campaigns from their tribal homelands. The Western Roman Empire lies to the south, and her border territories weak and ripe for the plunder. The Langobards were originally a small tribe by the name of the Winili, who left the southern parts of Scandinavia in search of more fertile lands. Though small in number, they paid tribute to no one, claiming they would rather maintain liberty by arms than to stain it by the payment of tribute. When the Winili tribe faced the Vandals, their god, Godan, declared he would give victory to the tribe he first saw on the day of battle. Seeing the Winili women warriors with their hair tied around their faces, he asked, who are these long beards? And awarded them victory. The tribe was known from then on as the Langobards. Two new elite units available to the Langobards are the Godin's Men and Godin's Chosen. The Godin's Men are a tier two medium melee unit with excellent armor piercing damage and excellent morale. However, they do have a poor missile block chance. With a frenzy active ability engaged, get this unit into battle as quickly as possible and get them stuck in. Godin's Chosen are a tier three heavy melee unit and are superior to the Godin's Men in every way. Boasting high morale, damage, defense, and health, this elite unit rivals the god Odin himself and will tear chunks out of the enemy in melee, though they may become hard to control. The Langobards also have access to the Horse Hewers. While relatively brittle and easy to dispense with, these units have guerrilla deployment and are devastating anti-cavalry specialists. Striking from cover against unwary riders, they're a force to be reckoned with. As the spiritual successors of the Swaby, the Alamans intend to forge a new life for their people, away from the nomadic terror of the Huns. Regarding themselves as Rome's nemesis, despite several notable defeats, they have nevertheless stripped the Western Roman Empire of much of its territory. Led by a tribal confederation of greater and lesser kings, princes and chiefs who claim royal blood, the Alamans levy a diverse range of Germanic troops to fight for them. The Bejeweled Nobles are an inexpensive Tier 1, very heavy melee unit with excellent armor and high morale. These troops also boost friendly units' morale with the Encourage ability and make a good force to build your frontline defenses around. Chondamar's Raiders are an incredibly elite Tier 3 heavy skirmisher cav unit. With excellent armor-piercing damage and rate of fire, these riders pack nearly twice the ammo of regular skirmisher cav. Also boasting superb missile damage and health, these fearsome riders will set buildings ablaze and capture positions at a faster rate. The Burgundians emigrated from the Baltic island of Bornholm to Northern Europe. As the centuries progressed, they solidified their position as a power in the north and east of the continent. Although defeated by the Romans and surrounded by enemies, as the fourth century begins and the authority of the Western Roman Empire wanes, Many tribes have pushed further into former imperial territory, and the Burgundians are no exception. Certain units in the Burgundian roster favor barbed weapons. These were deadly, as once the barbed tip of a spear or javelin pierced the enemy, they would have been incredibly difficult to remove. This makes the barbed javelin men, a unique tier two medium skirmisher unit, particularly deadly. These ranged warriors also have the passive snipe ability, enabling them to remain concealed while firing. With high missile damage and an excellent rate of fire, these units can rain death on unsuspecting enemies. Barbed Lancers are a tier two medium shock cavalry unit, also only available to the Burgundians. With their high speed and excellent charge bonus, maneuver these deadly riders around your foes to tear at their rear and flanks. We hope you enjoyed this unit spotlight video. Tune in again soon for more spotlight videos.